It does. I was at the gas station today, as you can see, I put you know, a whopping $12 in, and now the motorcycle's making a... Money, 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 just to let you guys know, uh, there is a little bit of, not necessarily popping, but it does peak a few times in the audio. So uh, I do want to let you know it has been resolved. You'll see that in about four months, but I still want to put this video out anyway. The audio is not terrible. It's just, it's, it's almost dialed into this video and then I got it finally done. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the video and uh, thanks for watching. Hey guys, what's going on? Money, 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 money. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like that's all I do is spend money, 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 money on the good old petrol anymore. But what can you do? What can you do? So today I'm doing a little testing. As you know, I always do testing. But lately I noticed in a lot of my videos that the microphone has not been good or the audio quality just hasn't been as good. And I don't know if I can blame that on anyone Thing. So what I'm doing today is I changed things up. Oh, too hot. Too hot for visor. Must defog. So ever since I got the rock, I've really just, I love the helmet. From a rider's perspective, it has been a awesome helmet. It's quiet to me and it's just, it's great. There's nothing else I can say about it. This isn't a review for that though. The problem I have though, is the wind noise that comes through. Now this helmet is really quiet when I'm riding, like right now, I'm only 140, but when I'm riding with this motorcycle and this helmet, everything's really quiet to me. So how come I'm still picking up so much wind noise? And I think it's because of the way the helmet's designed. So there's, helmet is designed to reduce the wind noise around your ears so they put some extra stuff in here you can't see this side they put some stuff in there well you see the the plate runs right underneath my part here and these over here is you know nothing but and they did some other things to help the acoustics to bring the helmet in a little bit tighter to my ears ex facto that makes it quieter the problem though is where us motor vloggers will place our microphones, it's not, it's not right there. I can't put the microphone in my ear, you wouldn't hear me. So the microphone that I had been using, I had inside the cheek pad. Well, I think inside the cheek pad, it's getting a full blunt of outside air, especially when the outside air hits right there. It was really, really bad. So I decided to change things up just slightly and i got a well i'm hoping it's a less sensitive microphone too so here's the changes that we've made so before we were running the sony ecm3 i believe microphone through the cheek pad and i got some feedback especially when i added music to the videos that it was unwatchable or hard to listen to you cut me deep shrek you cut me real deep just now. So, you know, I'm a man of the people. I value the feedback. And I went to work on finding a better solution. So what I have done now is I have ditched the Sony in place of a Rode Lavalier 2. So this is basically kind of similar to like a Purple Panda would be. But I'm hoping and praying that the extra price tag that comes with it muffles out a little bit more of the wind on its own i don't know this is my initial first test with it and i'm not really sure if it's going to work or not i have done some tests inside the house with it and it does seem to be very good it picks up the highs of my voice a little bit better so if it picks up my highs a little bit better then when i if i have to go and i edit out some of the deep windy bass my voice will still sound the same and the wind noise will be reduced, hopefully, dramatically. 
so that's the new setup and also now the microphone is also outside of the cheek pad so that's the other thing that I'm a little concerned on is this microphone is literally resting up against my cheek not even really my cheek but really my lower lip and so my next concern is is the friction for me talking going to cause like a rustling noise but again this is the initial test we will find out for sure so I'm really kind of disappointed though going back to the helmet though and I'm not disappointed at the helmet don't get me wrong this isn't this isn't one of those things I'm disappointed in the fact that it's so quiet to me that I can hear and I can talk and everything but it just it hasn't translated um, even if, if this test doesn't work guys I hate to say it guys but the Shoei RFSR is still sitting in my garage and that I feel like I had the best audio setup in the world well maybe not the world there's obviously better but it was definitely really really good ever since the day I was born I have to tip my own horn. So what I decided to do in addition to getting all this situated because there was another issue that I was having and that was mounting cameras for when I was using this helmet. Now you had seen I had used the one that kind of just like goes here and it comes up under the visor. And that one was cool because I didn't have to have any sort of attachments to the helmet so I could run the helmet clean when I wasn't motor vlogging. Turns out that makes a very annoying whistle because you can't get the seal here as closed and it makes a sound that comes through. So with the launch of the new DC helmets coming out from Rorock, I'm most likely going to buy one of those and that will be my 4.0 cruise around town helmet and I'm going to convert this one strictly to moto vlogging so this will be the helmet I will use for moto vlogging it will be the same that you are used to up to this point it's just you know I've had to you know I've had to add the mount to it as you can see here I added the Rorock chin mount to there which seems to be an okay piece i need to actually take some super glue because like right here uh it kind of cracked it's i think just a very kind of cheap 3d printed item so i'm going to kind of buff that up a little bit and once i get my camera setting just perfect i'll have it dialed in so actually right now it is a little windy today so i am getting a, a little blast of wind noise so i am kind of curious to see how this is going to play out Drop your comments what you think. Is this sounding okay to you? Is it sound no different than what I'm used to doing? And uh, as always, I'll catch you guys on the next Dark Side as this is the way. Chop fit seeing ya. Later!